Hey guys, it's Drew the Helium Noob. Thanks for watching. Today on episode three of How to IoT, we're gonna teach you how to set up your environment. As always, please make sure to hit that subscribe button, turn on the alerts, and if you're truly enjoying my content, please make sure to hit those like buttons. If you wanna learn more about the hardware that we'll be using for this series, or how to set up your account with Helium Council, please check out these videos here. Otherwise, let's jump in and show you guys how to set up Arduino for the WizBlack Core 4630 and 4601. In order to set up Arduino, we need to download it. So let's open up an internet tab. And if I could take a quick second for those of you watching the channel on a Brave browser, Helium Noob is now a Brave verified creator. So if you're loving the content, please consider leaving me a tip. Quick word of caution, the Microsoft Store does have a version of Arduino. However, we are going to use the full version directly from Arduino's website. I have the link in the description. Click the link to the right under download options for your specific operating system. Once you've done that, allow the file to download. Once downloaded, open the file and install. Now we can fast forward a little bit in the video to the point where we're going to go ahead and close the installer because we finished the installation. And then now we open up Arduino. Now let's select File, then Preferences, and under Additional Boards Manager URLs, we're going to copy and paste the URL I have listed in the description. Once pasted, we're going to go ahead and click OK, and then OK again. Next we will select Tools, Board, Board Manager, and type in Rack in the search bar. Once the results are filtered, go ahead and choose to install the Rack 4630 and 4601 boards. Once finished, hit the close button and we will return to the tools menu to verify that we've installed correctly. That's it for today, guys. Next, we will link the episodes one through three together and start building out some IoT projects. Thanks again for watching. Please make sure to hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you guys on the next one.